first up new from <laughs> knowing pedro the 3d hangouts folks we've got another uh cool 3d printed ready to go case this time for the cutie pie it's a very small little board you snap your cutie pie board into it then you can mount it you can also like break off those little ears if you desire um great for you know cutie pies are so small they're on mounting holes this kind of lets you have mounting holes um, and you can still solder to all the contacts if desired. Um, second, we have the uh, another version of our like these are very thin, small um, panel mount USB C connectors, and this one has USB C broken out, which is really oh, nice. Uh, sorry, the uh, CC pins broken out. Yeah. So you have power ground, data minus data plus, and then the CC one, CC two pins, which means unlike the other four pin version, this one can act as a um, host or client, you just want to do the right thing with the CC yeah. pins. If it's a client, you'll want to have 5.1 oh, K resistors. Cool. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was like kind of nice. It's like a little, it's very compact. Um, it has a little protective dongle thingy on, on the end there too. Um, but good if you have that little case and you want a uh, USB-C and you don't want to, uh, you want to make sure that it works with Macs and Windows and Linux other devices. All right, so for the fans that, uh, the fans, hey everybody, you're a fan of Adafruit. Um, we have a bunch of fans. You can go to adafruit.com slash new. I didn't want to put in like essentially the same looking photo over and over. But there's like big ones and small ones. Yeah. So, so Nona Pedro were like, hey, can can we get some fans in? Because we want to redo our um, USB um, fume extractor. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll get some with the USB connector already on them so you don't have to be soldering even. That's good. Idea. Um, because you can always cut the connector off, right? But it's like annoying if you want to put it on. And uh, this way you can plug it into like a computer for like quick cooling. Yeah. Um, so they come in a variety of sizes from three centimeters square up to nine centimeters square and like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. They get a little bit more expensive as they get bigger, but they're still very expensive. They're like about three, four, five bucks a piece. Um, they don't have PWM or a tachometer output. If people really want, I can get ones that do. But for now, I'm just sticking with See, simple. Guess. If you want to control these, I recommend using something like our MOSFET breakout because it'll have the flyback um, and a little LED to tell you. And you can PWM them, but they're very simple brushless fans, basically. You give them five volts, they spin. That's it. Okay. And then the star of the show, besides you, Lady Ada, all the fans out there, our team, our customers, our community, all the folks that are trying to do good in this world and, uh, you know, showing and sharing, bring, bring in, bring, coming together, you know, we're doing it. I see something cool. Yeah. So we've got these, uh, I think last week we showed them off and we didn't have them in stock and we do have them in stock. And I know some people wanted them. I wanted to highlight them and also show it on. It's real. So we've got these round displays, easy to use. Um, we've got Arduino and CircuitPython code for them now. And I've also got their M4i's demo code running on the board. Um, we'll do a version with two eyes, and I'm also going to publish the code uh, soon, hopefully in the next couple of days. I want to do a little bit more work. I want to see also if I can get this working on the ESP32 on the RP2350. Um, but a lovely 240 by 240 display, and it's round and uh, breadboard friendly, but there's also an iSpy connector on the back. So here's the, the demo. This is my prototype, which is green. So just you know. And also, don't no one give me any guff about this Autodesk Eagle um, mouse pad. I collect old weird mouse pads, and this is an old weird one. And look at the one underneath. That's when Apple and Next merged. Like, these are cool. This is it's not that I'm like all for Autodesk. I have a collection of old. I'm, have, I will have a mouse pad museum one day. Yeah, it's true. Um, okay, so you got the eyeball. Of course, it looks great on the round display. There's iSpy, so if you want to connect it without having to solder any wires. Um, that's also available. Uh, 240 by 240 uses the GC9A01 chipset. Um, it's, you know, an SPI generic display. It's just not ST7789, but um, IPS, it looks good at every angle. High refresh. This one's not taped down. Um, I think it uh, has, you know, backlight control. I think it can, I'm driving this here at like 30 megahertz and it seems to be fine. So you can, you can drive it pretty fast. I noticed when we did our video um, that we're going to show because it's part of the top secret, even though this just came out, it looks like the eye is looking at both of us talking about it. Hey. It's like, hey, hey don't talk know. about me. Yo. No. I'm talking yeah. about eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> talking about eyeball. Okay. Hey, well, we have the uh, screens in stock now. So if you want to pick them up. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, that's new products. Yay. Yeah.